number of Cadassio members have a great deal of experience with SOLIDWORKS, and we find it's the CAD tool of choice for a lot of our users. Because of this, we thought we'd share some tips and tricks for when using the WeldMonk functionality within SOLIDWORKS. Let's take a look. 3D sketches are a great way to capture sketch geometry when working with weldments. A 3D sketch is started from the drop down underneath the standard sketch icon or the 3D sketch icon on the weldments tab. With a 3D sketch, there is no longer a reference to horizontal and vertical, but instead the concept of a long X, Y and Z. To change the direction in which you are sketching, hit the tab key to toggle between XY, YZ and ZX. Often the best approach is a mixture of 2D and 3D sketches. Double clicking an existing plane or creating a 3D sketch plane can help you constrain along a particular set of axes. Then you can exit the plane by double clicking into empty space. As you can see, it's not only fast to create the initial sketch geometry for our weldments, but because all the dimensions are captured within that one sketch, it's a fast way to be able to capture design intent and make adjustments too. When adding structural members to a design, they're organized into groups. With any single group, selections can either be parallel to each other or they can form a chain. So for example, if a structural member needs to run around four sides of a frame, this can be done within a single group. If another member needs to be added, a new group is required and can be added within the properties on the left. Once a selection has been made for a group, all of the options below are then specific to that group. A common thing to change is the location of the Wellmont profile relative to the selected sketch lines. And this is done using the locate profile button. This is useful as you often may need to toggle between internal, external or centered positioning. Additional anchor locations can be added by editing the base sketch of the Wellmont profile and adding in sketch points. Within a structural member feature, Corner treatment can be controlled wherever two or more members meet. This can also be adjusted within the properties on the left by toggling mitre or butt joints and can be controlled per corner by clicking on the selection ball and modifying its properties. Changing the order of the trim determines the final cut and can give you some impressive results like a three-way mitre. When a number of different structural members have been added to a design, it can create a scenario where individual members need to be cut back or lengthened. This can be done using the Trim Extend tool. Rather than having to manually cut away at structural members, the Trim Extend tool intelligently recognises the weldment bodies and allows you to choose how the members should be trimmed and will adjust existing member lengths accordingly. Structural members generate a lot of useful properties that can be referenced and displayed throughout SOLIDWORKS. These are especially useful when shown in a 2D drawing cutlass table. Solid bodies modelled within a Wellman file can also take properties with them too, providing a bounding box is created. A bounding box in SOLIDWORKS Wellmans is a 3D sketch that represents the smallest box in which the Wellman can fit. It is created based on the XY plane by default and is based on the orientation of the Wellman. To create a bounding box, right click on the cutlist item in the Feature Manager design tree and select Create Bounding Box. When the properties of their cutlist item are shown, there are now additional properties that can be carried through into the 2D drawing. Because weldments create multi-body part files rather than assemblies, producing individual part drawings is slightly different to when working with assembled parts. Because of this, there are some specific tools used for presenting drawing views of weldment files. The first is select bodies. When you place a drawing view of a weldment, you may only want to see a single body or a selection of bodies. This can be achieved using the Select Bodies button on the properties in the top left. After clicking this, you'll be taken to the 3D view where you can select the bodies you want to appear in the drawing view and any subsequent projected or child views. There will be scenarios where, as well as selecting the bodies to show, you also want to manipulate the view to orientate it differently within the 2D. This is where Relative View helps. Relative views allow you to pick a body or bodies to show in a view, but also allows the reorientation of either the front, top or right of that view too. This is great for weldment bodies that have been modelled across at an angle. Often, people think that weldments are only useful for welded frames, but don't let the name mislead you. The weldment and structural member tools are useful for anything that comes in lengths. This could be furniture, timber framing, plastics, or other type of metalwork. 
Check out our Furniture Design Tips for SolarWorks video for more information. I hope you found this short video useful. Remember to subscribe to Cadasio for more tech tips and news.